Tuesday morning announcements. First of all, Committee WHS, that's my advisory committees, gets underway today and tomorrow in the Student Center, room 128. Reminder notes with your day and assigned group were distributed already. Hopefully you received those. Groups 1 and 2 will meet today. Groups 3 and 4 will meet tomorrow. Best that you come to the group and the time that you are assigned to because we have to we try and make sure we have enough food for all the sessions. However, if you have an absolute conflict like you're assigned tomorrow, but know for sure you're going to be at the orthodontist during fifth grade tomorrow, then you can come today and vice versa. But just try whenever you can to come to the one you're actually assigned to. If you'd still like to sign up, see Mrs. Schaumer in the main office. If you're a veteran member uh, and have not signed up but want to participate again, then just come to the meeting today and we'll get your name there. Uh, another very important event today, in addition to Committee WHS, is the uh, home room. And the homeroom is coming up during uh, warrior time from 147 to 205. When that chime rings, uh, that'll be a, war a time for you to go to your homeroom. Be five minutes passing time and then 20 minutes uh, in the homeroom. Now for sophomores and juniors, that's where you will have your warrior time today. It'll just be five minutes shorter because of the passing time. But for freshmen, you will uh, see the video and vote on class uh, officers and uh, also the uh, Seniors will have the very important job of selecting their king and queen semifinalists for homecoming. So seniors, even if you do not have a pre-6 class, you'll want to be there for that. So homeroom during warrior time today. Upcoming college visitors, New York University at 1.30 today, Iowa Wesleyan at 2.30 today, and Capri College at 11 o'clock on Thursday. Those applications for job shadowing experiences are due today in the counseling office. The open gym today at 7 o'clock. Uh, be sure you get your parking hanger. We have 378 registered cars that grows throughout the year. Uh, but we do have the ability to look up your license number if you don't have a hanger. Officer Pacer can do that and we can ticket you for not having a, your car registered. It's important that all cars be registered. So be sure if you don't have the hanger, pick one up $10 by seeing Mrs. Schaumer in the main office. Also, we're down a little bit in activity ticket sales. What a bargain that is. And if you're in free reduced lunch, it's only $15. 40 for everybody else covers all wash games at Kingston, plus everything at our gym, except for some state tournament type events. Uh, it gets you free admission to uh, Much Ado About Nothing this weekend. It's a great deal. So if you haven't got your activity ticket, punch, actually, but do that as soon as possible. Study table today after school, GSA today after school at 228. Meeting for anyone interested in that culinary arts competition, that's at 3.20 tomorrow in 205C. Model UN on Friday after school in room 152. Juniors and seniors interested in being a page in the Iowa legislature, see Mr. Shore in room 144 as soon as possible. Students who'd like a scholarship opportunity with the United States Coast Guard, you must rank in the top 10% of your class, but you should go to the counseling office on September 26th at 10 o'clock to speak with a Coast Guard representative. I'll remind you about that several times before September 26th. Jacob Betts, Kelly Graves, Shannon Ramelsberg, happy birthday to all three of you today. We look to our swimmers here against Kennedy, our volleyball players up at Waterloo West against the Wahawks, and Boys JV Golf out at Airport National. Lunch today, featured items, scrambled eggs and cinnamon roll, or chicken patty on a bun, or specialty pizza, or Asian rice bowl, and the usual parfaits and some sandwiches and other things, deli sandwiches available also. Great sports results uh, last night. Our men's golf team had one of its best wins of the season, tied for second in the Mississippi Valley Mississippi Division Tournament. Three 18 hole rounds make up that. We're currently tied after two of those rounds with Xavier for first place. We could win our first golf conference title in over 20 years. And we were led yesterday by 74, 64s, shot by uh, Jake Patterson and Frank Lindwall, and those were just 100 medalists on us today. So great job, golfers. I'll give you more details if I have time. Oh, first of all, freshman, this is Mr. Phillips. He is the advisor of both the surveyor and uh, the uh, yearbook, our yearbook, the monument. We're going to put on the results of the freshman election. We won't have that in time for uh, the end of the school day, but we're going to put them on Twitter accounts, on those two Twitter accounts later today. So check there to find out who won those freshman elections. Juniors and seniors, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to find out who won the king and queen elections. Okay, thanks, Ms. Phillips. Hey, guys.
Don't see much ado about nothing. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Green show starts at 6.30 and regular show starts at 7.30. Uh, prices are $5 adults, $3 if you're a student, and if you have an activities pass, you can get in for free. And if you are helping with the green show, please meet me right after school in the courtyard. We need to get the girls fitted for dresses and the guys' outfits together. Um, so right after school. Thanks, guys. Go team. There will be an amnesty meeting tomorrow after school in Mr. Witty's room, room 235. And also, feel free to come even if you weren't the first meeting. Alright guys, Junior's t-shirt voting is now closed at WASH 2016. Luke Carey won, and I'll be giving the gift card to him and Caroline Shea tomorrow. And you can go on our you can go on our Twitter at WASH 2016 to check out the new shirt. The order forms will be in your LA room soon, so just stay tuned. Hey, WASH, uh, Youth Organizing Building Our Committees, holding non-perishable food drive. Uh, we need as much food as possible. Drop it off at Student Center 128. We'll be doing this till mid-October. This is a really good way of helping out our community from getting uh, community members uh, basic needs such as food. So if you have any boxes of food or pasta lying around, bring it in, Student Center 128. Magic Club will be having a meeting uh, after school on Thursday in room 229. That's Mr. Sloma's room. Uh, this week will be EDH themed, so if you have an EDH deck, um, you know, please bring it. Well, in room 228 today, we have Gay Straight Alliance. Um, we're not going to be there for very long, so don't freak out if you can't show up. We're probably just going to talk about um, leadership uh, for next year's and years following. But we are going to have a GSA leader meeting tomorrow after school. <coughs> Washington Literary Press meets room 232 after school today. Everyone's welcome to join us. Uh, there will be a sad meeting tomorrow. Room 116, Miss Mooney's room. And we'll be talking a lot about the Take Charge Conference, so if you're at all um, interested and available, please come because it's kind of important. And everyone's welcome. <laughs> um, there's a new club in room um, called Guitar Club. Um, you don't know. You don't need to know how to play gu the guitar. You can like sing or rap or beatbox. The sign-up sheet is outside Mr. Johnson's room, which is room two thirty-four. <laughs> girls, hold. Girls, hold up. Huh? If you want to come back tomorrow, we'll put you on first, okay? Okay. Since you're at the very end, Mr. McCord will be sure you on first. Okay. Okay. okay? Great. Thanks. Thank you.